Thanksgiving welcomes our sponsor, Advice Interactive Group. In times of tragedy now, like last month's bombing in Boston, or Monday's tornado in Moore, Oklahoma, social media has become a big player in not only dispensing information, but also in letting family and friends know that you're okay. Okay, John, so let's talk about this, about social media, I think, you know, I wish Susie was here because she always is like, why do I need to tweet? Why do I need to be on Facebook? <laughs> but on <clears throat> Monday, I remember I was away from the TV when this was happening, and the right. first signs of the tornado I found out about via Twitter. Yeah, and most people are getting their news via Twitter. I mean, more and more people are not logging on to CNN or FoxNews.com. They're getting because it it's 140 Twitter. characters of exactly what I need to know right now, quick, exactly. instantaneous information. But Isn't the problem though, John, that like if you if we rely on on Twitter to get instantaneous information, that oftentimes the information isn't exactly accurate. It is the information oftentimes exactly accurate on CNN too. Wow. I mean, how many That's you true. had the you have Bush Gore, you've got yeah. a lot of different things and examples of Which is why you need to follow people that are verified whether it's like CNN or right. you know, the right. New York Times or right. or Dallas Morning News, right D Magazine, whatever. Point. Exactly. Yeah. Follow the CNNs, follow or Courtney Kerr. Exactly. And when you want to get your relevant actually, When you want you to get your really job. relevant motivating. Okay, so let's talk about this. So actually, you're a great person to have tweet during this type of tragedy because you've got 40,000, 50,000 followers. You're able to kind of use your fan base to get money donated to the appropriate causes. You're not there to, this is kind of the no-no, you're not there to promote yourself, you're not there to share different information, you're not there to say, hey, it's raining, you know, right. be careful. I'm not like breaking right. news, go to the Courtney right. Kerr. You're using social media to get people to donate money to right. a cause, and then on that subject, you need to shut up. And that's, that's really how you should do it. Um, unless you're a CNN, unless you're you know a news organization, stop trying to promote all of the the different things or or share news because you're not a news agency. On the same line, you want to make sure that if you're a nonprofit, it's wonderful to help as a nonprofit. But if you're a nonprofit that has nothing to do with raising money for this particular cause, stay silent. You know, write something that says, "Hey, um, you know, donate money to the Red Cross," and then just stay silent. You know so what was interesting when? Oh, go ahead. I was just going to ask, like, when you work with businesses mm -hmm. all the time on their social media presence, do you find oftentimes that they're just completely clueless? Totally and clueless. Don't know. Yep. Because if you, I guess it, as a business, just what like to as say, a person, how to say when to say. As a it. business, if you're not clear on what your brand is, then you really can't be clear about how you want to portray. It right. Over social media. And right? you can actually see on the screen right now an example from Gap. So during Hurricane Sandy, just to give you an idea of that big brands don't know either, all impacted by Sandy Stay Safe will be doing shopping all day. I mean, can you imagine during the tragedy? And Gap got crushed for this. And oh, there's another imagine. image right wow. after this where they actually, if you can pull that up, where they actually had to come out and apologize. I mean, it is incredible. If as clueless as we all are on social media, big brands and big companies are just as Well as and I think why this is hard is because I, I remember after a Boston bombing, Kim Kardashian mm -hmm. got some flack because a lot of people have social media set up in queue to mm -hmm. go out. I mean I know a lot of bloggers that do this right. and a lot of, you know, big brands, probably the gap you know, maybe, and they set up time slots where like a tweet goes out mm -hmm. every hour. Well, then when a big tragedy happens, they they sometimes forget to turn yeah. those automatic queued tweets off and then tweets are going out. This happened to Kim Kardashian mm -hmm. apparently after the bombing. A tweet went out and she got a lot of backlash and she was like, sorry, it was already set up to go out. Right. And I that's, apologize. That's crisis communication yeah. and, you know, it, it you don't want somebody who's tweeting with stuff that's automatically going out because right. social is about having a conversation and you're not re even if you're doing it every hour and it's automated you're not relevant you know one minute you may be not relevant versus an hour down the road think about how fast things are happening right yeah. now so we were talking about how d um, on during Monday during the tornado in Moore, mm -hmm. Oklahoma people weren't just using Twitter to find out information and find out about right. the tornado and the, and how how big right. it was but they were also using it to check in on friends and family and as kind of a means of are you okay Okay. Yeah, due to the weather and due to what happened, there was a lot of different cell phone towers down. People weren't able to communicate via the cellular technology, so they were doing a lot via Twitter and via Facebook, and family and friends were being were communicating um, that way. I think that's fine. I think that using it to sell a product, just completely going out there and you know giving your sympathy once is great, but just keep pumping it out. It's not worth it. So, All right. anyway. awesome. Well, Thanks, thank you John. for being here. Have you guys, day. if you want more information about social media trends, visit adviceinteractivegroup.com slash TV. You can also send your questions for John and the experts at <coughs> Advice Interactive Group. Um, and you can tweet them at Advice Group. And that hashtag is bizvisible. <laughs>